you know, like I've been here before. You have because you thought about it in your mind first. Your mind is so real. The, the thoughts are so real that the mind does not know if you're just thinking a thought or if you're really living the reality. That's how, I mean, really think about that. That's why, you know, I remember I had a dream and I was playing with a, a puppy, right? And I was playing with him and I was, you know, doing my hands like, and he's, you know, just the puppy to my hand, right? And this was going on in my dream. And in the dream, the puppy actually snip my finger, right? It snipped it. Boop. And I, I woke up out of sleep because I felt that. I was like, oh, God. And I knew, you know, once I woke up, I knew I was dreaming because, you know, I was in my bed and everything and I, we didn't have a puppy. Um, but I, I looked down at my finger and my finger was red at the tip. And I'm staring. And I'm like, you know, and it was because my mind couldn't tell whether it really happened physically or if it was just something I was dreaming about and then like two days later I actually got bit by a puppy you know this whole finger I don't know if you can see it I'm, sick of, I'm not trying to be fresh but <laughs> it's a little scar right here you know yeah I really got bit by a puppy so I made it manifest because I first of all I dreamed it and it was real to me and then I walked into the physical counterpart of it. So, because I really got bit and it was just horrible. You know, I'm glad I didn't have to get stitches. And I already had a technic tech shot from being bit from a dog before. Um, so I didn't have to get that. But thank God, it was, you know, it healed up really nicely. But I still like a little mark there. But it really happened two days later. That's not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? So, um... But, on to say all of that, I do believe that is done unto you as you believe. So, if you believe what the Bible says, then it will be done unto you as you believe. If you believe what the Quran says, it will be done unto you as you believe. And so on, so on, and so on. That's why it could be a person who's a really good person in appearance and they're wondering why God has not sent them their heart desires. But then it could be someone who they care less about religion, care less about God, and seem to get everything they want. You know, whether it's money, the person of their dreams, cars, houses, what have you. That's because that person doesn't believe they can. Simple as that. They believe that they can have what they want. For some reason, you believe you don't deserve it or you're not worthy or whatever. The other person doesn't believe that. They, they believe they're the man, you know? So, I really want to get your input on what you think about this subject. Um, you know, my opinion, I was taught that God was Santa Claus. To be honest, you're good for goodness sake, you get blessings. If you're bad, you don't. And I'm so glad for me that I grew out of that because I'm able to now um, live the life that I wanted to live and not feel guilty about it. Just live a good life and be happy and know that good things are coming to me and I deserve them. I'm not a sinner. I'm not born into sin or a born sinner, so to speak. I am pure positive energy extension of a higher power that loves me no matter what or who I am or what choices I make because eventually I'm just going to go back to that pure positive power and and just be one completely with him again so that's my belief what's yours <laughs>